Hey, my name is Aaron. I'm one of the first responder chaplains with the county. Today I want to talk to you about the topic of community resilience. Now, resiliency in and of itself is the ability to recover from life-challenging events. Such events can include the loss of a loved one, a traumatic experience, the list can go on and on. One only has to take an inventory of their own life experience to know of what such events include. Presumably though, the higher quality of one's resiliency, the quicker that recovery can begin. Now don't misunderstand me, resiliency and recovery isn't necessarily about forgetting such events or trying to avoid them, it's more so about getting through them as opposed to getting over them. So when it comes to community resiliency then, it's all about having a high quality personal support system in your life that you can lean into to help you get through such events. Now I talk about this topic today because it's obviously very important. To one degree or another, we've all been through difficult experiences. So whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, you have to realize that we all need people around us. We need people who can encourage us, care for us, support us, and yes, even speak hard truths to us at times. It's not rocket science. Though studies have shown that individuals who have high quality support systems in their life, they're happier, healthier, more productive, and yes, even more resilient to face the daily challenges of life head on. So my hope for you today is simple. Don't try to muscle through life all by yourself all the time. Lean into those support systems and remember that we're more resilient together. Two, I imagine we can all think of someone in need or going through a difficult experience. Perhaps we can lend a hand, a listening ear, or a word of encouragement as we remember the power of community resilience. Thank you for watching.